Alrighty, hello everybody, Sergeant274 back with episode 25 of the Beginner's Guide playthrough. We are right now going to head back, actually we're going to level up real quick, see how much... This only does two more points. Uh, we really need to level up endurance, but you know what, damage is so critical in this game, so we're going to continue to bump up our strength since we're going for a quality build. Um, as I was saying, we're going to continue and finish off the Duke's archives and <coughs> excuse me and the uh, well Seath Seath the Scalus down there in the Crystal Forest and the whatever other place that's called Crystal something alright real quick last time you know what I forgot to freaking upgrade my Estus flasks here you go, you can talk to him and he will tell you how to defeat Seath. You can learn that on your own while I'll be showing you actually because this is a beginner's guide. Durr. And here you go, here you can buy all the good stuff. Um, the best thing here that he has is Crystal Soul Spear. So, there you go, it's expensive. Alright. Um, roll, alright, good the extra Estus Flask plus four. But we do have the fire guy down here. <coughs> and kill him fairly easily. There's a treasure chest. There's nothing really useful in here. Except on well, the prism stones. Prism stones are actually a useful area that we're about to go through. I am not going to be exploring that area. Um, I'm looking for a gold golem. There is actually trapped in the gold golem. But, as you can see, there is no gold golem here. It did not uh, trigger what we were supposed to trigger. In order to spawn. That being armor, crystalline, crystalline, whatever you want to call it. Um, by the way, if if you are doing the Sigmire side quest, I think you have to go down to Blight Town, like I said. Um, the, the His daughter will appear in a gold golem up here. You have to kill gold golem, free her, and then kill all of these other golems here. I think there's 12 of them. If I'm wrong, let me know or put in the comments, but I believe that's what you're supposed to do. But these guys just drop blue chunks, so it's not that important. So, continuing on, run. Just run down here. Crystal Cave. This guy's gonna come up here. Just run right by him. Sleepy, because he didn't even try to attack me. Come over here. There's a bunch of hidden paths in this area. Straight out towards the uh, walkway. Alright. This guy is actually a real tough golem. So what you want to do is avoid him. There you go. Come over here. You see this area. Turn around. Alright. Turn around everyone. Why turn around? There are crystal lizards galore in here. And you get some good stuff for killing the crystal lizards. This guy has a potential of falling down here. He did not. Alright, good. So what we're going to do is, I'm completely off here by the way. Um, I have no idea where the thing is. I think it's over this direction. Alright, there you go. Run towards the thing that's kind of jutting out. Alright, there you go. There's a soul of a hero or something down there, but you aggro the Moonlight Butterfly. <sighs> okay, there are two ways to do this. You can run through all these clamps here and trigger the boss and then <coughs> save and quit if you want to. I'm going to show you how to kill the clamps. Because <laughs> you may want to farm for Twinkling Titanite. Which I'm going to actually try to do. Hold on, the clamps coming a little too quick. <laughs> Alright, these clamps are dicks, by the way. I should have my other shield on for this, by the way. Two. Alright, let's see how many hits it takes. Wow, that's going to take a lot of hits. Alright, let's put the gold ring on. There it is. And just walk over them, and there you go. Twinkling Titanite. <coughs> you want to do is... Lure them back. Okay. 
He didn't drop anything. Thanks, buddy. Alright, there's one in the far right there that will actually come first. Don't run back there, because there's one hiding back there, too, so... I'm going to change my shield here. <coughs> Do your little thing. Alright, one, two, three, four, five. And they will also drop purging stones. Thank goodness we got one. Alright, come over here. And the last one should aggro. That one there is turned the other direction and sleeping. He a little sleepy boy. He a sleepy clam. Come on. Do your little charging attack. Whoa, look at all the stamina that thing. Or the stability it takes. Alright, can we please just get it to the point where we can attack this guy there and pick up some all right a purging stone all right let me go back to this actually because it would be the smarter thing to do at least for now <coughs> all righty and twinkling and purging stone like I said there's one more back there if you want to do it I'm not going to do it instead what we are going to do now is prep for seeth alright real quickly we don't need those I don't need those do not need that I want actually the probably do I have the curse bite ring what's my curse resistance it's not very good now it's a lot better and we will probably put that on Alright, we look foolish, but whatever. We're going to put the Grass Crush Shield on. And we're actually, I'm going to see if the Black Knight um, Sword is more powerful still. Alright, the Black Knight Sword is more powerful. I'm going to use that here. <coughs> I still a fast roll? I do. Alright. <coughs> so, here's Seath the Scaleless. What you have to do is in order to even damage him you have to break the crystal that's back there there's a secret guys you have to break the crystal then you can damage Seath Seath you can cut off his tail it gets you the moonlight greatsword it is probably the well it's all magic damage it is you know probably the strongest single um, sword in the game for a pure magic attack and it has pretty cool R2's <coughs> it's just hard to get I'm going to try to show you how to get it. I haven't done this fight in a while, like I said. I haven't played this game in such a long time. But I will tell you the way that I normally do it, and if it doesn't work, I'll just continue to try and do it, but I may not be successful. So, Alright, anyways, Seath, this is what you do. Run in here, and voila. You look at the crystal, hint, hint, you have to kill the crystal, which is why they focus on it, or the primordial crystal, it's the secret to seats, um, invincibility, or, like, he cannot die. Alright, so, first things first, find the freaking crystal, it's behind you. I personally do not hit the crystal myself if I want his um if I want to try to cut his tail off. When the crystal breaks, he gets stunned. He's being a complete idiot right now and not moving my direction. So basically what I'm going to try to do Oh my gosh, seriously. This is unbelievable. What I'm going to try to do is have him come over here and he's going to break the crystal himself. He's literally stuck. He is lit. Seath, I'm over here. Was I camouflaged? Oh my gosh. I think he's honest to God stuck. Well, boys and girls, we just found a glitch. He is stuck. Um. Yeah, he can't move. Seath, can you move, buddy? Alright, 
we're gonna see what we can do with him like this. Um, I'm gonna break the crystal. If this doesn't work, I'm just going to um, see how it stuns him. I am going to save and or uh, quit and reload because. All right, here's his tail that you want to get. Oh no! All right, he's he's better now. Seath is better. <laughs> All right. Now what you want to do is hug his right side. Hug this little boy here. Okay. Ouch. Watch out for that attack. That stupid tail stop thing. That's the one that'll kill you. Okay. Fortunately now, we didn't cut his tail off. So, we're going to try to do it. This is not that easy because there's potential for him to get pushed up against the wall like he is now. And you cannot chop his tail off. Because it has to be the end of it. So, we're going to get out of here. And watch out for that attack. Not a huge deal. Wait for the crystals to go down and run. Are we going to get to it? No, we missed it. Roll out the way because he's doing that stupid flapjack attack. Oh, we can all right, we got to lure him back here. Lure him back to an open space. Alright. So, if you don't want the tail, just hug the right there and he will... Um... Oh, come on, Seath. You douche. Ah, this is all for that stupid... Moonlight Greatsword. All because he glitched at the beginning. If he didn't glitch, I would have had two or three shots at him. Alright, there you go. Bait him into his attack. And... Oh, come on. There we go. We got it. Alright, now he's really unhappy. He's going to do his little... Little patty cake dance there. <laughs> now it's really easy to kill Seed. All you have to do is hug his right side here. There you go. Just do that constantly. He's not gonna, he's not gonna like it because he's gonna die very soon, very uh, shortly. All right, let your stamina regen. Hug this side. He cannot do damage to you over here for the most part. Whack. Whack. And whack. Really? Did he die? Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> making sure. Alright, there you go. There's Seath. So we have two of the... Uh, actually, we have three of the four um, Lord Souls. So now, really, all we need to do is go down and get... Um, uh, what's that idiot down there? Oh, again, I forgot to put the silver freaking serpent ring on. Oh, why why don't you guys remind me to do that? Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm wasting souls. Guys, put the silver serpent ring on. Right after you kill some a boss. You will get lots of souls. Take that stupid hood off. Whatever, I'm an idiot. Oh, look at the jump in damage. That's with the Black Knight Sword. <laughs> Alright. Actually, we'll probably do the... We'll use the Murakumo. Or... Murakamo. Makamuro. Whatever it's called. Um, shortly. There you go. There's a Moonlight Great Sword. You can see Ace the Galen with Intelligence. It's really nice for a magic build. Alright. Let's go back to our... Really, it was down. Um, go back to our washing pool. Alright. <sighs> Bed of Chaos is what I was trying to think of is the last Lord Soul. So we're going to warp back to Firelink now. <coughs> and next episode we will do just that. We will take on the Bed of Chaos. By this time in the game, you should be um, 
have a pretty strong weapon and should be able to handle what is to come very or pretty easily. Alright, <coughs> so I am actually going to pop me a. Um, I need 4,000. I think that's 5 right here, isn't it? Yeah, it's 5. We're going to level up real quick. Level up our strength. Two more strength. We just need two more strength. Then we'll have a good quality build going on. So, there we go. Leveled that up. Now we're going to go over here. Reinforce our Estus Flasks. Our Estus Flask. And we are going to take on the Lost Isolith. Bit of chaos, etc, etc, next time. So... Cut this episode here, and I'll meet you back here next time, and we'll go down to the Daughter of Chaos and proceed with that lovely side quest. Or not side quest, <laughs> lovely uh, um, part of the game. Alright, see you next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.